Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode where I'm going to tier rank my main autumn winter sews. Let's get started. So hello everybody, I'm going to start by talking about what I'm wearing. This is a mile end sweatshirt by Closet Core and I've got the contrasting uh, colour I've done top stitching along the edge there and cuff and I'll just stand up for you so you can see so it's great the way the colour comes around and I decided to do the front band like this but you can see that great line there I've also top stitched down the sleeve here so let's get into today's episode which is all about me thinking about the tier ranking of how I would rate the makes that I've done. Now I haven't included every single make, excuse me looking over here, but I've got my tier ranking set up here. So I didn't include every single thing because I felt that some things were intentional twirls or were makes that I haven't quite finished yet or just weren't worth talking about to be honest. So I didn't want to overdo it but what I have done included a wide range of the things that I made during autumn and winter and for me autumn sort of started October time so we've got October, November, December, January and just that dip into February now. So I am going to um, do like a record where you can see me moving and talking about everything. I set up five categories there are some great other tier ranking sewing ones made by Mel did a brilliant one and oh let me look up what her name was I loved I loved another one that I watched with somebody and I've forgotten her name it's I'm going to check it out for you now so it was lost my thread she did a every free sewing pattern she's made tier ranking that was really interesting too so I really hope that you enjoy how I've done this if you do make sure you leave me a comment so that I know to do more so I'm now going to hand over to me in a little circle as I talk through my tier ranking I'll catch you back again at the end Hello everyone, let's get to this bit of the episode. So I'm just going to talk you through the way I have decided to order my tier ranking for autumn winter. So start at the top, green is yay, love it, we'll make it loads more times. Blue, we'll make it again. Yellow, it's good enough but probably won't make it again. Orange is wearable but definitely not going to go there again. And red is, whoa, I've got a lot of regrets, let's not even talk about that. So as I go through, let's start with the Max T by Chalk and Notch. And I loved this. It was made in a test version from Pound Fabrics, like a sort of like a quilted jersey. And I've really enjoyed it, but you don't need a lot of those in your wardrobe. So I'm putting it in blue for that reason. Now I'm going to talk to you about the dress that's underneath. This fabric is from Legend Textiles. This is a self-drafted jersey dress. I used a bodice block I had and I think we know the answer already because here's another version in a green fabric from Minerva, a green jersey called Tiger and oh hang on a minute there's a third version which is a version I made um, with fabric from Minerva as well that was the first one. So we can answer the question will I go there again already? This is a jogger set, mile end jumper and Tilly and the Joggers sweatshirt, Tilly and the Buttons joggers. I like it but the jumper didn't quite work out right with sizing. However I love the mile end jumper so much when I got the sizing right I did make it again and I will be making it again. So the right size made all the difference but loving the comfies because here comes the third option. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers again and a jumper this time that is the Stella jumper from the same book and I love a co-ord jogger set as you can see there will be more on the horizon. How many does one person need is my question. Next we're going to go to the Deer and Doe Scirocco jumpsuit. I had already made two twirls but this was like my full proper version. It was in a scuba with a metallic leopard print on it. I really like it and I'll definitely be wearing it but it's quite dressy so we'd only make it one or two times. However I love the pattern so much. This is a sleeveless version in a stretch cord from Pound Fabrics. We'll definitely make more of those. I liked the sleevelessness of it and that one is a yes let's make it lots of times. 
Here comes the Walk Boldly Trousers by Pattern and Poem. And I'm just pulling up another pair because the answer is already I'm on my fourth pair of making these. The two pairs I'm showing you here are the two finished pairs that I've already started wearing. I've varied each pair, one pair with pockets, one pair with a stripe down the side, one pair wider than the other. So I think we know they're going in the green section. So let's see. Oh, and you can see I'm wearing the Max T with both of those. Next, we're going for the Marlowe Cardigan by Chalk and Notch. Really love throwing this on in the winter. It's so bright and cheery don't need a lot of these this is in a pink cable knit from first fabrics you don't need a lot of these although i will be making it again i'm not going to proceed to make six of them i am in progress already with another one this is the billy jumper dress by tilly and the buttons i like it the fabric makes it from pound fabrics but i don't like having that much of my legs out in the winter it's too chilly even with tights on so i like it it's good enough Will I repeat it? Mm, probably not, sadly. I want to, but I just won't wear it. And that's the thing we've got to be honest about. Will I wear it? This jacket was a hack from a Nora cardigan by Tilly and the Buttons, and I made up my own collar to go with it. Whilst I wear it, I'm really not loving how the collar went, sadly. So it is good enough, but I won't be going there again on it. Love the fabric. It was from uh, uh, Rainbow Fabrics last year. Uh, this dress is a hack of the patina blouse. I always think of this fabric as like autumn in a fabric. Really love it. Um, but my thing about dresses is I often want a different style. I don't want to keep wearing the same style. I've worn this one quite a lot. So it's in the blue, not because I don't love it, but because I'm not going to make lots and lots of them like the jersey dress. These trousers are by Seasons of East, so the winter in London trousers. I don't love them as much as I hoped because I'm looking for those go-to trouser patterns. So they're good enough, but I can't see me making a lot of repeats of them, sadly. And I even crack the invisible zip in them. If we have a look next, it's another Seasons of East pattern. This is the Autumn in New York. I really wanted to love this, but I don't. I might wear it. I'm not even sure if I'm even going to wear it. So I don't have huge amounts of regrets because I wanted to try it, but unfortunately it's probably going in the S. I'm putting it in the orange. Here comes a trouser hack of the Scirocco jumpsuit. Really like how they look, but once I wore them for a day at home, they kept sort of lowering down because you haven't got the bodice to hold them up so high. And I even shortened the waistband a bit. So wearable at home, but sadly not what I hope, which is a repeater. So they're good enough, but won't be repeating them. This was an accidental sleeveless jumper. It was a great solution to an accent I made, but I would prefer the Max T by Chalk and Notch. And so for something quite similar when I'm choosing, the other one wins out. That one gets worn, but it's not going to get repeated. This is the Stella Jumper by Fibre Move. It's a bat wing with great panels. Whilst I like the black and white, I made this as a toile and it is a little short for me. It does ride up as I keep putting my arms up. So it is going the wearable, it wouldn't go there again. So this is the Maya Sosa's dress that I hacked. Whilst I love it, and I bought the fabric in a D stash, I think from Adele, we haven't really had the winter to wear it, but I also work in an office that's often very warm. So I love the way I did the collar. Probably will go there again sometime, but I'm not going to make it six times. And this again is the Stella jumper by Fibre Mood. I lengthen the bodice, softer fabric, and I really love this one. So this one is a I will repeat it, and it does show that different fabric can really make a difference to what you make as much as tweaking the pattern that's so soft when I wear it, it just feels really comfortable. And I also feel really put together. So what I find really interesting is that the good news is there's nothing in the red and I would have honestly put it there if there was. Um, most of my makes are up in the green and the blue, which is great because I did set myself the challenge this year of trying to make sure that the things I sewed for autumn winter were things that I really needed in my wardrobe and really would wear and this shows that actually I feel that I mostly have achieved that and obviously I would never 100% do that 
making some things a try out. For example, the black and white striped jumper was a toile, a wearable toile, but it was. The green one was an accident, and the other, the dress, the Seasons of East dress in the orange, I was, it was a let's find out if I like it rather than a I will like it. So the three there are understandably there. If we look at the good enough, they're all things again that I was trying or wanted to like but realistically don't but the great thing is if I look at everything else in the top I've got smarts like the dresses that work I've got lots of comfies I've got smart casual in there I found a trouser that works for me which was one of the missions as well so I ha do feel that the tier ranking does help me to reflect and say actually having a vision for what I want to create rather than just looking at nice things and liking them is creating a good sense of direction in my sewing. I'm going to cut now back to a full picture version of me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I found it really useful. If you haven't seen my sewing stats episode, do go over and watch that because in that I do stats for everything I sewed in 2023. I group them and uh, organise them and talk about the percentage of my makes and I consider um, how many I wear etc. So if like me you are a bit of a stats geek this is a great one. I will put a little end slide in with a pie chart because people have told me they love a pie chart with a pie chart of my finished tier ranking so I'll count them up and pop a pie chart in. But Although these things sometimes can feel a little bit faddy, what I would say is, because I'm looking at it now, the finished thing, is that um, it helps me to reflect on sewing the kinds of things I want to sew and ensuring that I am having direction and purpose to my sewing. And so um, I might not always um, do it in this manner, but I think I will each sort of season that I sew for. Now I did clump autumn and winter together because in the UK I don't feel they're different enough to to need to sew for different seasons with them but I will probably do a spring one and I'll definitely do a summer one and I think as part of that journey ranking what I thought of what I'd made and whether I will do it again or not helps me to keep having that direction. So don't worry, if you love the rail, the rail will come out. I will do a final verdict of my autumn winter sewing and show you so we can see the delights on the rail. But this is definitely reinforcing to me, have a mission. So very soon I will need to share with you my spring vision of what is it that I need to create in my wardrobe for spring because otherwise I can get distracted like we all can with fabulous fabrics, fabrics patterns and they may not be serving the purpose that I need in my wardrobe and filling the gaps that I have. So that will be coming soon. I can feel like this is becoming like a little ebb and flow to how I do these. So do hop over and watch the stats one, the sewing stats of 2023 if you haven't seen it. And also leave me a comment if you enjoy this type so that I know if it's something to keep going with. Right, I am off now. Hang in there if you want to see the pie chart and I'll catch you soon. Bye.